Thank you guys for sticking around toward the end of my video and hopefully you enjoyed the beginning motivational um, style edit and um, kind of that little green theme we did there. If you've ever seen the movie like Sin City where they have like all black and white but only the things that are like the color red are shown in red and everything else is black and white. It's kind of what we did there except green. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that and um, yeah, thank you for sticking around. The second half of the video, which you're watching now, is going to be a little bit more educational or informative. So I'm going to be talking about the specific things that I'm thinking about during each exercise that help me engage in mind-muscle connection. So I thought this would be a good video to kind of go in depth about that on just because arms are something that I think is a very crucial body part to engage in mind-muscle connection with in order to get the most amount of growth possible. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I'm going to be talking to you guys like I said, about the each individual exercises, but I'm gonna throw the exercise actually up on the screen and um, I should be down in the corner while I'm talking about it. So the first one we started out with was just a barbell curl. So I went with a little bit wider grip, so a little bit outside shoulder width, and um, not working any specific tempo here, just a normal um, one to one tempo, so one second down, one second up. Um, really focusing on keeping my elbow in the same position throughout. As you kind of get your elbow swinging out, you kind of keep it here you're going to be working all your bicep as you swing out you're going to be incorporating that front delt which is obviously not what we're trying to be working when we're doing curls so three sets there we did 30 25 and 20 reps to start out i know it's a lot of reps we just worked with the bar and it's a really great way just to get a ton of blood flow into the bicep to start out and um, overall i just like barbell curls to start out it's the um, exercise I can use the most amount of weight with in terms of curls and um, it's just something that I really like doing especially to start out um, an arm day. From there we moved on to um, actually a barbell skull crusher and we worked six, six, and twelve. So six of the, the first six reps we're gonna be all the way behind the head as you'll see going all the way back and um, this actually um, is something where you're gonna wanna keep those elbows in tight. You don't wanna get them flared on those skull crushers. You wanna keep them in tight, or at least that's what I'm focusing on here, to help engage the long head of the bicep, um, long head of the tricep. Long head of the tricep is what you're gonna be seeing on that bicep sweep, and um, it's the biggest part of the tricep, so therefore, if you're able to get that bigger, it's gonna make your arms overall bigger. So that's what we're focusing on here. Like I said, the first six reps are gonna be all the way behind the head, the second six reps, as you're seeing now, are going to be towards the forehead, full range of motion, touching that forehead, and then the last 12 reps are going to be just 12 close grip presses. So basically, I worked wide grip, neutral grip, close grip. So basically, moving in one hand grip each set, three sets total. So that's kind of what I did for the skull crushers. I believe I went. Um, with just the bar for the first set and then I did the last two sets with just a five pound plate on each side So not too um, heavy there just really focusing on the form and like I said keeping those elbows in tucked even throughout the movement even with the wide grip So moving on from there as you guys are already seeing I just did a close grip um, to start 
um, widening at the bottom, um, rope press down. So widening at the bottom, I'm actually bringing my thumbs down, pointing them down, and bringing my arms apart. So as I'm doing that, if I was to keep my arms in tight here like this, and not spread, but keep them down, I'm going to be working the long head once again. But if I'm spreading apart, I'm going to be working actually that short head. So this is going to be um, what you're seeing when you're kind of doing like a tricep push down right here, and seeing um, that tricep or that horseshoe. Um, that's basically going to be a different portion of the tricep, um, which is kind of what we're trying to do, and that's kind of the theory um, behind what we're doing, because we want to hit different angles and different portions of the tricep with different um, isolation exercises. So that's the theory behind it, and that's kind of why I'm talking about this, because there's tons of different ways to stimulate the muscle by just switching a little bit of the movement. Um, so hopefully that makes sense for you guys. Um, Moving on, we then move to a, I believe, yep, a dumbbell incline. So we're doing a dumbbell incline um, curl. So you're leaning back. The reason I really like these is because it forces you to isolate the biceps because you're not able to use any swinging or momentum being that you're sitting. And being that you're on an incline, it really gets a great stretch in the bicep, unlike any other position, being that the bicep is actually behind your body. So I really enjoy those. I really like keeping my palm up throughout to keep the tension. You can also rotate down to neutral at the top, um, or excuse me, at the bottom rather, but it's really all preference. So I really am a big advocate in doing the things that you feel the most, um, although you wanna be hitting a variety of different exercises with a variety of different angles, um, find what works best for you and your body. Um, after that, we did a um, we pulled up a bench to a um, cable station where we did some overhead extensions. So anything overhead um, on the triceps is going to be really isolating the long head. But if you really want to focus even more on isolating that long head, you're going to want to keep your elbows in tighter, like I was mentioning before, just like you do with the skull crushers. So focusing and also pointing the thumbs at the top. Um, that was the next movement we moved on to, and um, to finish, we then did. Um, just some one arm hanging concentration curls. So you've seen probably a lot of the old school bodybuilders do these, um, but this is something that you'll really find a great mind muscle connection with, and also you're able to kind of get a little bit more of a cheat rep out of it. Um, so I'm not suggesting you use a ton of momentum really swinging using your hips or anything like that, but if you're able to get a squeeze at the top and you're able to control the eccentric or the negative portion of the rep, go heavy. The thing about these last um, few exercises, those are the ones where I'm going to use those cheat reps or use a little bit of momentum to get the bicep up there um, or to get the dumbbell up there. But the focus should be on engaging and keeping tension on the biceps even on those cheat reps. So they have their place. Sorry, my camera got died there, guys. But what I was saying about the cheat reps is they have their place and they have their value in a workout, but without doing those quality reps beforehand and getting the most out of your workout, um, those cheat reps are kind of misplaced and misutilized um, for what they actually are worth. So definitely use them, but make sure that you're getting quality reps in, make sure that you're getting different angles, make sure that you're actually putting them in in an area of the workout that makes sense. So. That's kind of the video for you guys, finishing up with just a little bit of posing as you're seeing right now, um, just to show you guys where my conditioning is at and kind of where my physique's at through this bulk. I'm weighing about 156 pounds in the morning right now, usually weighing about 160 um, once I go to bed. So check out my Instagram if you like this kind of more informative style. I post about two videos at least per day and they're always exercise videos. You guys have really seemed to like that on Instagram and um, I'm really enjoying it because it allows me to get a lot more exercise con content out there for you guys and just do it in a more informative way. So that really um, makes me happy to see you guys are enjoying that and um, I will talk to you guys very soon in the next video. Please like the video if you didn't enjoy this style of video. Um, I just said video like three times in like three sentences. But whatever, I will see you guys soon. Thank you for watching and subscribe if you haven't already. Take it easy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.